I'd like to take this occasion to thank all of the Periscope livestream community that engaged with me in January and February of 2020 on this Vietnam quest. Je voudrais remercier la communauté Periscope qui a participé avec moi durant cette tournée au Vietnam. Uh, basically, I've ordered bami. Me. It's very hectic. I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Let me just... It's really... And nothing, really. Nothing special. Uh, bonjour, Elementaris. Hi, Elementaris. It's looking backwards. Anyway, it's only um, 60,000 dong. So a Canadian dollar is 17 something, just shy of 18, that, um, 18,000. Yeah. So you can do the math, I guess. I don't know. I'm still trying to get good at this. Uh, so let's have a look at the neighborhood. You see these little tables? I got the choice, uh, you know, beast through sidewalk side table. And uh, I have my Grab app, so I can, uh, I can order me a taxi driver anytime I want. I've got my uh, security helmet in case I fall off and ding my head. I've got a respirator that I bought from a, an entrepreneur. There's a Bomb E25 across the street. So, um, you know, maybe tomorrow we'll try it over there. But today we're trying it over here. Anywho, hey Daniel, welcome in and thank you for the hearts. Hey, by the by the way, guys, all of you uh, regular viewers, uh, today I surpassed one million hearts, one million in, and counting. So I sent a little uh, thank you tweet today, just to uh, you know who you are, all those guys with the hearts. So thank you so much uh, for allowing me to pass a million hearts. Hey, hockey rules. How's it going? We're in uh, old Hanoi. Okay, so she went across the street. Thank you. Check out my, um, this is my mango smoothie. So I'm, I'm going to try and answer all the, uh, thank you for retweeting. So this mango smoothie, I'm going to zero in on it because I want you to see the attention to detail. So this is fresh yeah, mango. That's what I felt like. I, I, I was shown the menu, and today I said, you know what? My stomach could use a bit of mango. So that's what I'm going for. I assume this is chili. I'm hoping it's chili. Anyway, shall I give it a test? I'm kind of new at this. I don't even... Uh, is this a straw? Hey, Greta, I think Greta, Greta, you would approve. It's a bamboo straw, I think. Or is it a stir stick? I'm going to, I'm going to assume it's a straw. Good. And in Fiji, the mangoes, they grow on everywhere. They grow on roadsides and then they kind of ripen on the trees. So you could be on a little bus stop in Fiji and there's a mango tree right next to it and you can pick up a mango and what I realized is that the mangoes that get imported from wherever they grow, like the best ones, they kind of um, don't have that same effervescence that the skin of a mango has when you freshly pluck, plucked it off the tree and you know if you bend uh, the mango skin a little backwards you can see these little spritzes of uh, oil. I probably think they'd even catch fire. But I think the longer it was pulled off the tree, the less of that effervescence you get. Oh, it's coming. Kemun. So this is my, okay, so this is, you know, uh, getting back to your question, Robin, about the place where Anthony Bourdain, who is, I'm very fond of, uh, of the Bourdain and everything that he does and how he changed travel and the world and eating and foodie and and all that other stuff and it's so sad that he's gone but in my own little way I hope to make if it's good I hope to make this famous it smells good mm. it smells delicious so eventually I'm gonna take a bite 
And you know, the thing is, is that this place is kind of packed because they have it like doubled on the same street. And I'm going to try and complete, um, you know, like if I start answering something and then I get distracted by a question and I don't complete what I, I started to say, uh, I hope I'm going to try and, and speak in, yeah, a bami is a Vietnamese sandwich. So the French that um, were here a, a century ago and a little more introduced uh, the French baguette. And so the Vietnamese used their local produce in the French baguette and it became a thing. But there's a regional thing as well. So certain spices and things. Yeah, yeah. It's fresh from the oven and uh, it's warm. But uh, thank you for checking. So this is the world famous Hanoi Bami 25. So I'm going to put it down. I did not arrive um, prepared today. I did have my battery pack. You looked it up. It's Bun Cha Huan Lin. This is the restaurant. Okay. So you know what I'm going to do? I don't know what happens when you do a, a swing cap in a live periscope, but I just did it. So uh, thank you, Robin, for being my uh, my personal assistant and fixer on my live periscopes so that uh, I don't have to file it in my already busy to-do list. So I have, uh, according to Google, I believe you, I've seen mention of it and there's even a YouTube of them famously sitting across from each other. So I have this satchel and then I have this camera satchel, which I love because it's what I carry my drone and it's bicycle friendly, meaning I can strap an ex extra strap for it to keep it snug. And it's fairly lightweight, so it's my day bag and I love it. So I don't even have to take it off to have a meal, but I did not bring my um, iPhone stand that I could put the stand down on the table and eat. So I'm trying to figure out how to talk to you guys and then uh, give this a fair, uh, a fair shake, you know? I have some ongoing issues with um, the phone plan I bought yesterday. I only got uh, a short scope out of it and I supposed to have three, 30 gigabytes for the month. And um, it just stopped working um, shortly after I did a few scopes. Yes. Okay, let's try that because I mean I have the I have the uh, sidewalk seat and uh, let's let's get organized here. here. They go so I'm just gonna give the little chili sauce a go because I like my chili sauce. I like this uh, concept here because it means that your your contents won't fall out. So good. Good for you. It's made out of paper. The other thing is that I think Greta would approve that they use uh, bamboo straw. So if you're watching Greta, Vami 25 is um, is pretty with it. It's not that ethnic in my neighborhood, so I've never had that. And so. Mm -hmm. Mm. Good flavors. Yeah, I like the combination. I'm going to show you guys because these veggies have a crunch to them. They have a bit of a, you know, they're um, they're like a radish. So they have a they have a kick as well as a crunch. And the pate, the pate has that kind of. A, Garlicky, smoked. We love Greta. <laughs> that's that's why we're mentioning her in our scopes, just in case she's watching. Because because of the uh, bamboo straw, I'm uh, you know she's on our minds, on our subconscious. So I think Greta would approve. Yeah, the crunch is an indication of its freshness, but the pate is also. It has some smoky and earthy and just subtly garlicky undertones. 
Salut Butternuts! Je suis en train de manger un bami de bami 25 à Hanoi. Donc je viens de goûter et j'ai essayé avec la sauce piquante. So yeah, the uh, hot sauce is pretty mild. So I think it's just for for flavor. Yes, I heard it snowed last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's excellent. Freezing rain all night. That's uh it's got nothing to do with me. Hey Dale Wiz three. I'm not gonna say hockey. You'll just have to stay tuned and uh and count. You're jealous and you're hungry. <laughs> ah, bang. Yes. Well, we're going to have to uh, do a meetup and uh, have some po in uh, St. Leonard or there and about. Actually, it's good selling my stomach I had a I had a food for breakfast so if you ever come to Hanoi I would say for um, the Bami experience you know there's a lot of the choice of Bami's so um, I can actually you know I might decide to order another one Now that I have time to settle, because uh, I was setting up my camera, my phone, across the street to do an introduction. I, made an, I ordered and I asked the waitress for the Wi-Fi. So everywhere you go in, in Vietnam, pretty well every place has Wi-Fi. So that's what I ended up doing, again, improvising. But I shouldn't have. To. I really did uh, extensive research on what plan to buy and what to, to avoid. It's been drizzling this morning. So we have a seven story uh, building, and there's a terrace on the eighth floor. And I wanted to do an early morning scope, but the Wi Fi from the uh, common room wasn't strong enough. And it was really smoggy over the city. And there was just a little bit of drizzle and not a lot of noise like you're hearing now. There was just like a few little beep beeps. That was about seven in the morning. Because this is coming into dry season. Is that it'll drizzle in the rain or like overnight and then come around noon time, which is a little past noon. Yeah, it's a little past noon. That's when it, it stops. So it's just like micro dots of like humidity. So I got my poncho in my bag where it won't get used. So I gotta take another bite and then I'll continue answering questions if there are any. Mm. Excellent. And uh, the mango smoothie. So damn, that mango looks really good. It is. And it's got the Greta approved bamboo straw. It tastes really good. Uh, drinking in planes, not a good idea. You get dehydrated and then you get like tired out. And so it's better to have things like this. They replenish you and they, they just, uh, they give you that extra little bit of kick. <laughs> 